Hello everyone and welcome to Superbase for iOS Developer. I will be your instructor Mohammad Azam. I am super excited to present to you this amazing and a complete course on Superbase. This is the only course that is available that covers authentication, Postgres database, real-time API, presence API, edge function, storage, and much, much more. So let's go ahead and take a look at the content covered in this course. We will start by learning how to set up our Superbase database on the Superbase console. I'll show you how you can create tables, add columns, and then we will also create custom environment value so we can access Superbase client easily. Next, we'll jump into fetching, displaying records, saving, deleting, and even updating records. Next, you'll be learning about how to add relationships to your existing model. We are going to be introducing the expense model where a single budget can have many expenses. You're going to learn how to associate an expense with a budget, how to display all the expenses of a particular budget, updating an expense as well as deleting an expense. Next, we will learn about how to add authentication to our project. This means that in order to use the app, you must be logged in and user will be able to create budgets and expenses under their account. So we will learn about registering a user, signing in a user, as well as navigating to the budget screen after signing in successfully. We will also learn about the listen authentication events, which is provided by Superbase Authentication Engine. Next, we'll be learning about the storage API in Superbase. We will allow the user to take a picture from their camera or select an existing photo as a receipt and associate the receipt with a particular expense. Now, this is going to be really exciting because apart from adding the text for the expense and the amount for the expense, you will also be able to attach an actual receipt and then have that receipt uploaded to the storage API. We will also use the real-time API provided by Superbase to create a chat feature for our application. This is where users can talk to each other in a chat room, send messages, and you will also learn how to auto scroll the messages when the new messages arrive in your queue. Apart from the real-time API, you will also learn about the presence API, which will allow you to create applications that can represent the online offline status of the users during their chat. So you'll be able to create user interface where you'll be able to see that how when the user is present, it will turn green. And when the user goes away, it can turn into red or any other color of your choice. You will also learn about how to implement many-to-many -many relationships in Superbase where an expense can have multiple tags and each tag can be applied to multiple expenses. You will learn how to create the tags, you will learn how to display the tags, as well as how to update an expense along with their tags. Next, we will learn about how to implement edge functions using TypeScript language and how to invoke these functions using webhooks, meaning whenever someone inserts something in the expenses table in the Postgres database, we will immediately invoke our edge function that will perform some server tasks and then insert the result into a different table or even send an email. So this is going to be an exciting section where you will learn how to write serverless functions using edge functions in Superbase. I'm sure you're really excited to begin this course, so let's go ahead and get started.